Here we can see a photograph taken of the Tour de France when the finish was in Canterbury. And this shows the scene after the race had finished and they're actually ripping the finishing line here as you can see. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take this photograph and we're going to convert it into a drawing, a coloured drawing. Or should I say we're going to apply filters to it. That'll make it look like it's a coloured drawing. The first thing to do is to come over here to the layers, select the layer and come down here and click on this twice, once, twice. And what we can now see, we have three layers, each with the same image. What we do now, we select the top layer, we come over here to filters, we then come down to where it says distort and we select emboss. And what we'll see is this here, a sample of the image, and we're going to go with the actual default settings here, they should work. So we'll click OK and if we come down here we can see where it says emboss and it's slowly processing. It's nearly finished the processing now and now we can see the embossed image. The thing to do now is to make sure you have this top layer selected which is the embossed layer that we've just created. We're going to come over here and we're going to select from this drop down list and we're going to choose dodge. And when we choose dodge what we can see is we have something that looks like it's been drawn by a crayon. Now we can Look around with this a little bit more and to achieve that we select the second from the top layer, this one here. We come over here to colours, we go to brightness and contrast and I'm just going to move the brightness slider in this direction and watch what happens. I'll move it all the way to the end and we can see that's gone quite dark. So we have a choice now which we can judge by eye what we actually like and what I'm going to do I'm going to bring it back to round about there and simply click OK. Now I'm quite happy with the look of that now and that to me looks like it's been drawn by some coloured crayons. Making sure I've got the top layer selected I'm now going to come over here to where it says layer and I'm going to say merge down. And what has now happened it's merged the two top layers. Now this isn't an essential step here but I've done it so we can see what the original image looked like quite easily. Because what I'll do now, I'll click on this eye and we can see that was the original image, that's why we made three in the beginning and that's the image after I've applied all of the steps that I've just shown you. Now I suggest you have a go at this yourself. Load up a suitable image and go through these steps. It's quite an easy and fast process.